Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. For today's note, can you copy into your maths 2 book? So can you write the date as Monday 9th of September? So for today's lesson, we're going to learn empty set. So let me define you. What's the definition of empty set? So empty set is a set that does not contain any element. So the symbol that we use to represent empty set is phi. So this is the symbol for phi, which is uh, you draw a circle and then you just do a slash there. Or you can have only braces without any element in between. Example would be if I define set A as not years that have 3, 7, 6 days. So if you think carefully, there is no year that have 376 days. So it's going to be A is equal to 5 or A will be braces without any element. So this is how we represent empty set. Another example would be like a week that have 8 days. There is no week that have 8 days, so you're going to write that set will be equal to empty set. Okay, now this is a new subtopic which is what we call subsets. So by definition, a subset is a set inside a set. So a set inside another set is called subset. So the symbol that we use to represent subset is like an inverted U. If you have your U like this, so if you shift your U 90 degree, you'll have something like this. not C, but it's like a U like 90 degree U. Uh, if I draw a set A, this A, okay, this is your set A and this is your set B. As you can see clearly that your A is inside B, so we're gonna write A is a subset of B. So A is inside B. So A is a subset of B or you write A subset B. Okay, now look at the example. If you are given set A equals to 2, 3, 4 and 5, and your set, set B equals to X such that X sits between 1 until 7. So you're going to list all the set A and then your set B. So the set B will go from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So this is your set B. So now because your set A is inside set B, you have 2, 3, 4, 5 here. So you're going to draw your A first and then you label 2, 3, 4 and 5, dot 2, dot 3, dot 4 and dot 5. And then you draw another circle to represent your set B. So the set B will be, because whatever number left, which is 1, 6 and 7, will be, will be written outside your set A. So this is only set A. And this is the whole, the whole thing of, this is set B. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So this is how we represent subset. So A is a subset of B. So A is a subset of B. Okay, example number two, you are given set universal equals to x such that x is between 1 until 10 and your set A equals to even numbers and then set B equals to multiples of 4. So we're going to draw a Venn diagram to represent your universal set, set A and set B. First, you're going to list all your set. So the set universal will be from 1 until 10. So you're going to write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 Okay, this is your universal set. Okay, your set A will be even numbers. So from this list, what is your even number? You have 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. So this is only even numbers. And then you have your set B equals to multiple of 4. So multiple of, of 4 will start with 4. And then 4 times 2 will give you 8. 4 times 2 will give you 12, but 12 is not in the list, so you're going to close your uh, braces. So now we draw your Venn diagram. So first, you, you see that your set B is inside set A. So 4 is here and 8 is also there. So you're going to draw B first. You write dot and then dot 8 and then you label your set. So this is your set B. So in your B, you have your A, so B inside A, so the rest will be 2, you write outside, and then you got 6 and 10. So this is your set A, everything. So if you draw another circle, this is your set A. Okay, finally, because you need to draw your bigger rectangle to represent your universal set. So what we do, whatever number left, you're going to write outside. So 1 is not there, you write outside. 2, 3 is not there, you write outside, 4 is here, 5 is not there, you write outside, 7 is not there, you write outside, and lastly you got 9, you write outside. So now the way to represent universal set, remember to use a big rectangle. 
so this is your universal set so you draw a big rectangle and then you close this shape and this is your final answer so this is your Venn diagram so I'm going to give you exercise in the description, description below uh, please copy all the notes into your maths too and then I shall see you on Tuesday